¿Quiere cantar la alguien sola? ¿Una? ¿Juntas? ¿Juntas? Bueno, cuatro, nos toca cuatro. Uno, dos, tres. Cuatro elefantes se confiaban sobre la chela y la rana. Y como vieron que era asistía, fueron a llamar a los chalefantes. My name is Margie Shepard. Uh, this is my sixth trip to Casa Xelahu and to Quetzaltenango. Uh, this time I came with a group of 27 mostly teachers and a few students, but I've taken high school students here and uh, other teachers, nurses, social workers. I think it's great to come down for uh, a different cultural experience and I love the city of Xelahu, partly because the people are so friendly. Hi, my name is Janelle Ellis and I'm from Charlottesville, Virginia and I teach band there. This is my first time at Casa Xelahu and I am a beginner speaker of Spanish. The classes here are really nice. You have a, a, a teacher and it's usually one-on-one -on -one or a small group and um, they start you wherever you are. So if you don't know any Spanish, that's fine. If you are advanced, they will also help you improve. Um, when I arrived, I knew about three words of Spanish and now I can um, order in restaurants and ask for directions and usually understand what, they, what they're saying. My name is Katie Schutz. I teach kindergarten in Almaro County, Virginia. And I'm here with a group of teachers to study Spanish at Casa Xelahu. In addition to the amazing homestays and the wonderful teachers here, we go on weekend excursions to different places across Guatemala to get a chance to see some of the amazing sights around. Our first weekend, we went to Lago Atitlan. We started off in a town called Panhachal, took a boat across the lake to Santiago Atitlan, walked around, enjoyed some shopping, enjoyed the stunning views of this lake surrounded by volcanoes and these enormous clouds coming in and sun shining through. It's simply gorgeous. This past weekend, we went on a trip to a farm that grows rubber trees, coffee, macadamia nuts, but it was so much more than a farm. It was in the middle of a jungle, a tropical rainforest, and we got there, we got out of the van, and there were immediately hummingbirds flying around, and beautiful butterflies, and everywhere you go, you see new plants and new animals, and learn so much about this country. For example, when we got to see the rubber tree plantation, we saw the rubber dripping into these little buckets and then later drove on a tractor and just marveled in how much time and energy it must take to bring that rubber from the tree, make the tires that are so gigantic, and all of these things that we take for granted that look so simple are made in these places that we get to visit. Our group is here from our school in Elmer County. We are trying to implement a new world language curriculum. Our school is really exciting right now because we have about 40% of our families as Spanish language speakers. So a lot of the teachers came down here so that we could improve on our Spanish to be able to connect with the families, to be able to build a stronger com community and to help support the students in our school. We're